Hello guys, FDB Soccer here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to plan a session for your team. It doesn't matter if your team is under 10, under 12, under 16, a college soccer team. It really doesn't matter, but your session has to be progressive and uh, it has to follow a certain plan. You need to make sure you don't go in too many different directions because if not, your session will not make any sense at all. Usually what I like to do is to shape my session around one topic. For example, if uh, the topic is passing, I'm going to make my exercises all about passing. That doesn't mean that I'm going to incorporate shooting, dribbling and some other aspects, but the core concept, the main concept of the session has to be passing. Just make it clear. Just make sure that your players know what is the topic that you guys are working about. Because if you're going to do a session about shooting and you tell your players the session is going to be about shooting and then you focus on passing, they're going to be like, well, this doesn't really make sense. So make sure you're coherent because a lot of times I see coaches deviate from what they actually want to do. Sometimes they uh, are like, yeah, let's go, let's work on passing. And at the end, they're working on attack versus defense and the passing element gets lost a little bit so there are so many ways where you can incorporate uh, passing elements into a session or shooting elements if it's shoot shooting what you're doing or uh, dribbling itself uh, just make sure to always encourage your players to emphasize and to work on the topic that is being worked on above the others because um, for example let's uh, do a uh, Let's take this example, for example, a possession drill, 5 versus 5 plus one neutral player. And if you're working on passing, make sure to make a rule in which every 5 passes, that's a goal. So you, that way you're encouraging your players to pass the ball in order to score. For example, if dribbling is what, you are, what you're focusing on, then make a rule that every time you dribble a player and you connect a pass, that's a goal. That way you're encouraging your players to dribble to get in that one versus one type of situation and uh, that way you are making sure that the concept gets in their head. What I'm talking about right now applies to every single level of soccer. As I said before, it doesn't matter if your team is under 10 or if it's a college level team, you need to make sure that your sessions are coherent, that it makes sense, and that your players are going to be clicked on whenever you are going to, to perform these drills. Also, remember that drills that are too advanced are not going to work on younger players. So I highly encourage you to make sure to adapt those drills to meet the level and the skills of the players that you're actually coaching. Also, do not make drills super simple for high level players because it will not be realistic to what they're going to encounter in the game. You're not going to make a five versus one possession type game for a college level team because then that player in the middle, that defender is going to be chasing the ball for the whole time. But maybe if you have an under 10 team, then do so because the players are not so used to the movement that you're going to have to make it easier so they find success to then make it a little tougher. Also, if you need ideas on what to do, what drills to use, what activities to use with your teams, just make sure to contact me. I'll be happy, happy, happy to help you guys out and uh, provide you with uh, some tools and uh, drills that you can do with uh, your groups. And uh, trust me, having more is better than not having some because a, a lot of times you, you gotta think on the spot. If the drill is not working, you're not going to stick to that same drill. You're going to have to change it. You're going to have to adjust it. If the players are getting frustrated, if things are not going the right way, that's where that coaching element of improvisation, improvisation has to come. Because if you don't improvise, you're just not going to, to succeed. Sometimes you have to add rules and add extra challenges for them to, to make sure they stay clicked and that the session keeps running smoothly because if not the session is going to break down the players are going to lose their focus they're going to be in a bad mood and they're not going to have a fun time and especially for younger teams and young and coaches that coach uh, younger teams you need to make sure that everything stays fun everything has a purpose 
but it has to be fun as well because if not you just you're just not going to have their attention and it's going to be way way tougher for you to coach last thing guys i would really appreciate if you like this video subscribe in the bottom below and uh, just drop any questions or comments that you guys have and uh, i'll be happy to answer them and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys <laughs>